just like give me a quick run through of your Android app? Yeah, sure. Okay, right, so you have your library here. Okay. And then, of course, uh, all the other books in the account are in the archive items. And uh, you click to download. And this is taking a minute just because uh, there's too many people on the Wi-Fi. Yeah, the, right the now. network's really bad here. But uh, normally, when the book, as soon as it's done downloading, it will open right into the reading view. Which unfortunately is not working right now. <clears throat> well, this is why we haven't released it. <laughs> yes. Uh, it is still under development. Uh, we have uh, different color modes. CPI doesn't show very well on the monitor, uh, but you can see it a little bit here. And then, of course, white. And five different font sizes. <laughs> A lot of glitter. Yeah. Do you have any questions? Yeah, so this is going to have access to basically every book in the Amazon store or only the ones specifically formatted for the app? Okay. It will have access to all the books. Um, the only thing that we don't have access to is periodicals, magazines right now. Okay. Um, and any books that you already purchased for Kindle, of course, will be available here. All right. You can sync up the same location and you have it downloaded in both. Are there plans to uh, add periodicals eventually? Is that part of the roadmap or are you just focusing on the ebooks right now? No, we're going to listen to customers feedback and if that's something that's important to our customers then it's certainly okay. uh, and you mentioned it's still undeveloped but, uh, what's the general time frame that you guys are going to release it'll be out this summer this summer okay yeah, for sure so watch for it very soon we're excited to get this out it's been a long time coming uh, and can you show me how like uh, you go between pages and stuff like that sure so there's a couple different options um, you can take your finger and slide Okay. And that gesture to turn pages like this. And you can do it fast, of course, as well. Uh, you can also just tap the edges. And uh, if you have a D-pad, some phones have this actually exposed. Okay. Uh, you can use this to turn pages as well. That's all. That's navigating around. Uh, and uh, you can switch a, between chapters and tablets and all that. So we can go to table of contents and uh, okay. find which chapter you'd like to go to. Jump to that chapter. If you have bookmarks, you'll get a list of them on this view here. Okay. And it shows you the context of what you were bookmarking. And, uh, You'll see it there, and you can simply tap to create a new menu. You can also do this in the, the menu. Will, will this support, uh, what's it called, uh, audiobooks? Uh, no, they're just, just uh, textbooks today, just the Kindle books that okay. you find in the store. And what versions of Android will this work on? And, uh, anything with 1.6 and above. 1.6 and above, okay. So, like, if someone has...